Last time on PGT's channel, we witnessed a tease of a Super Saiyan mushroom cluster. This cluster had fruits of immense size and epic proportions, so great that its power level was over 9,000. Little did the cluster know there was a far greater threat descending upon them. The mad mycologist known as Philly Golden Teacher is about to dismember this family of fruits in order to harvest their powerful genetics. He seeks to reproduce an army of powerful Super Saiyan mushrooms, and here is where we continue the Clone Saga. What's up students, it's your Sensei PGT. I hope you guys liked the little DBZ parody intro I made there. I had a lot of fun coming up with that. If you're wondering, I cut the cap off the big fruit here to spore print. Anyways, today's class will be about cloning and why it's important. Cloning is the process of taking mushroom tissue from a live fruit body and continuing its genetics out to produce more of the similar fruits. You can do this from your very own grow, you can do this from forage mushrooms in the wild, and even mushrooms from a grocery store. This method will work best on fresh harvested fruits only, as dehydrated fruits will have already killed the mycelium and it's going to be very difficult to bring it back to life. So why is it important? You can skip the process of germinating from spores to get live mycelium. This will save you about a week or two of time. And also it's because we want to reproduce more of the superior genetics. Using spores will give you random genetics. And when you don't want random genetics and you want the very best, you have to clone for it. Here I'm gonna separate this big fruit body from the rest of the cluster to make it easier to work with. Now we'll go ahead and prepare my agar cups. I'll loosen up the lids here to make it easier to transfer the tissue onto the agar. Next, we're gonna go ahead and flame sterilize our blade. Now the fruit has already been exposed to open air, so it's no longer clean. This is, in order to get clean tissue sample, we have to get it from inside of the fruit where it hasn't been exposed to anything yet. We don't want to cut into the fruit as you could be dragging contam into the fruit from the blade. So it's best that we split open the fruit near the, the bottom here. So I'll go ahead and split this apart with my hand. Once we get some of that tissue exposed from the center, we want to use our sterilized blade here to cut out a little bit of a tissue from the center here. And we're going to go ahead and transfer this onto our agar. Now this part's a little bit tricky, so it's going to take some practice in order to get it down. Once you have your tissue, go ahead and plop it on your agar. Seal up the cup. Here I'm going to flame sterilize once again. Clean up our blade to make sure it's nice and sterilized before we go back in and collect another sample. There's another tissue. I'll we'll drop that on another plate of agar here. And we'll set this aside. Now I'm going to repeat the process again here. I'm going to be collecting multiple samples from this fruit just in case any of them end up with contamination. I don't end up losing the sample of genetics here. And again, we'll flame sterilize our blade. Grab another piece of tissue, and once again, right on the agar. Okay, 
here I'm sanitizing my hand with uh, isopropyl alcohol before I handle this fruit. Go ahead and flame sterilize my blade. I'll loosen up my agar cup lids here. with the rest of the uh, cluster here. So when you're picking out which part of the cluster you want to clone, I would typically choose the biggest fruit from the cluster to work with. Here I'm gonna pick this one here and I'll split this from the rest. And this is the one that we'll be working with here. And we split this down from the middle, exposing clean mycelium. And we'll cut out a piece of sample here. Very gently. Once we have our tissue, we'll go ahead and place this on our agar. And we'll repeat the process for as many times as you like. By this time, you should know what to do now. So I'll go ahead and just let the rest of the video play out here with the background music. Enjoy. Oh, and stick around to the end of the video for blooper reels. And here are the results of how our clone agar cups here will look after about two weeks. You can see a lot of mycelium growth has covered the entire plate. It branches out from that little tissue stem that we've transferred onto the plate here. There's another one. As long as there's no sign of any contamination and it looks pretty clean, you can go ahead and spawn these out to grain and uh, let it colonize the grain jars and then you can spawn them to bulk and continue the grow process. Shout out to this month's patrons. Without you guys, I could not have made it this far. You guys enable me to continue doing what I love. Thank you very much for the support as always. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed the content, please hit the like button. Leave comments below and subscribe for more videos. If you want to discuss and learn more about mushrooms and mycology, come join us over on the Discord server. And if you want to show some support by becoming a Golden student, you can check out my Patreon. All links will be in the description below. 
I'll see you guys in the next video.